Introducing the crew of our Artemis II moon mission, lighting up an Artemis rocket engine, and a new image of a distant planet. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Ladies and gentlemen, your Artemis II crew. During an April 3rd event near our Johnson Space Center in Houston, we introduced NASA's Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, and Christina Hammock Cook, and the Canadian Space Agency's Jeremy Hansen as the crew for Artemis II. It will be the first Artemis mission to fly astronauts around the moon and back on our Orion spacecraft to validate the system's capabilities and techniques needed for humans to live and work in deep space. Together we will usher in a new era of exploration for a new generation of star sailors and dreamers. To the moon, to Mars, and beyond. Learn more about Artemis II at nasa.gov slash Artemis dash II. Engineers at our Stennis Space Center conducted a hot fire of an RS-25 rocket engine on April 5th. It was the fifth hot fire of a 12-test series to certify production of new engines. Four RS-25s will help power our Space Launch System rocket on future Artemis missions to the moon. Our James Webb Space Telescope captured this new image of Uranus that highlights the planet's dramatic rings and bright atmospheric features. The data demonstrate Webb's sensitivity for the distant planet's faintest dusty rings, which have only been imaged by two other facilities besides Webb. Our Perseverance rover recently collected and stored the first sample of the mission's newest science campaign. The sample came from a rock the science team calls Berea that is located near the top of Jezero Crater's delta on Mars. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.